All right. I give a moment for you guys to read the method. Okay, have you finished reading? So imagining that, where's my bottles? Okay, I've got bottles of water here. Okay, assuming that we are taking samples from the river. Okay, so this is the sample of water from certain river, let's say river UTM. And then we, we bring it to the lab. Okay, so all this sample needs to be poured inside the BOD bottle. This is a BOD bottle. And then, you know, you have to stir it, put it magnetic stirrer inside it stir it properly the, after 15 minutes you have a probe i somehow can open it is an old bod bottle so the, the stopper should be able to be can off okay from this bottle but somehow i cannot take it out so imagining that it's, it's open so you have to have a probe there and insert into water and measure the do for that for today so that will be the do zero okay the do or the dissolved oxygen day zero and then you put it stopper okay and then these BOD bottles need to be placed inside your incubator at temperature 20 degrees Celsius. So after five days, you come back and open the incubator and bring it, take it out and open the stopper. Okay, take, it, take out the stopper and then start measuring our DO. So that will be the DO5 or the dissolved oxygen on day five. Okay. So what you need to do is you have to subtract the value of uh, DO for DO0. Let's say for on the zeroth day, okay, the DO will be 7 milligram per liters. Okay. And after five days, let's say the DO5, the value of DO5 is 5 milligram per liters, for instance. Okay. So the BOD is actually DO0 minus the O5 divided by the uh, dilution factor, which we do not do anything. So there is no dilution, so just one, okay? So seven minus five, this is two milligram per liter. So the BOD is two milligram per liters. But if you are doing the BOD experiment, let's say on the first day you measure the BOD, not the first day, on the zero day, you measure the BOD and the BOD is seven, and after you come back at day five, you measure a BAD, it is recorded to be zero. Okay? So the BOD is not seven minus zero, and you got the BOD to be seven milligram per liters. Okay? So any reading on the fifth day, if it's below one or even zero, we cannot use it. Okay? It is not okay because if you measure on the fifth day you got your dod to be zero milligram per liter we never know whether it's on the fifth day it got zero perhaps on the third day already the reading of the o will be zero okay or perhaps even on the second day if you measure the do it could be zero so you don't you don't know when actually uh zero ox zero milligram per liter occur whether it's on the fifth day or the fourth day or sixth or on the third day or anything like that okay so, so for that case, you need to do dilutions. So basically, if you, take, if you have a samples, okay, from the river, you must, from the experience, okay, if you are taking industrial samples, wastewater, so normally the BOD has got to be very high, so you need to do dilution, okay? You need to do dilution. So how do you do that? So, okay, this is bottle, so you just put four... A little bit of water inside the DO bottle, BOD bottle, but you must measure the amount of water. Let's say you put 100 ml, okay, and then you have to top up with the dilution water. If you remember, the dilution water contain a certain chemicals that you read just now, okay. So you need to know the amount of whatever you you top up for the dilution water. Okay, so I think probably this is time that I need to share again. My slides. Right, so this is dilution water. Okay, the dilution water, uh, phosphate buffer, magnesium sulfate, and so on and so forth. Ferric chloride, okay. Right, so this is the uh, uh, formula of BOD. So DOI, the DO initial minus DOT, D 
the 5, okay, divided by the uh, dilution factor. And the dilution factor is actually volume of sample divided by volume of samples plus volume of distilled water. So if you remember for your first case, okay, I hope that you can see the bottle. You don't do dilution or dilution at all. That means your volume of sample is 400 ml, okay. And then the volume of distilled water also zero. That means the volume of sample, totally volume of sample. That means 400 divided by 400, okay. And that's why you got one, okay. That's why seven minus five. It's just 2 divided by 1. So that is the BOD5 without dilution. Now, if you have dilution, so where why dilution is needed, this is why it says, okay, if your final DO uh, should not be less than 1 milligram per liter. If it is less than 1 milligram per liter, that means the samples need to do, uh, need to be diluted. Okay. Why do we need to do dilution? Because we can decrease the organic strength of the sample. So that is the purpose of doing the dilution. Is that clear for the time being? Okay. Uh, doctor, yes. yeah. just a small question. Yes, please. Uh, for just now, the dilution factor is because of the pH range only, right? Because of the pH range? Yep. Yeah. For, the doing, for the purpose of doing dilution factor. No, not because of the purpose, uh, not, be, not because of the, the pH, but because of the organic content in water. Okay. Uh, so, if... Because uh, one thing I didn't understand when we're doing a uh, dilution factor, isn't us dilution factor we have to use like 1 per 10 or even 1 per 100 or in a case, but I don't understand that why do we need to add the 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 acid for like just now for the diluted sample. Oh, the dilution water, okay? Yeah. That is to make sure that the growth, okay, the condition being set by adding all the chemicals, it's just to ensure that the growth of bacteria, that, that kind of dilution water will make the bacteria live causally, okay? They're nice staying in the water. The, those are basically, how do you call it? It's like a catalyst for the bacteria to live. You can put just plain water, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? That is not probably uh, the best condition. So just to make sure that the bacteria can grow well and eat the organic well, so we are adding that kind of uh, solutions for the dilution factor. Yeah, understood. Okay? Thank you, Doctor. Right. Yeah. yeah, okay. This is your BOD bottle. I know that's very small. My image is very small, okay? The volume is 300, not 400. I'm sorry. Okay? So if you think that the water samples, okay, are having BOD between this range, that means you just have to use our sample to be 0 0.02 ml, and then it ha we have to add up three uh two hundred and ninety nine point nine eight okay dilution water. But if you think your BOD is between one hundred and twenty to four hundred twenty, so basically you need to add your sample five ml of it, and then the two hundred and ninety five ml is the dilution water. And if you think that your BOD is between zero to seven. You don't have to do dilution completely 300 ml being put, okay, the sample being put inside the BOD bottle. So this is the table that you need to know, okay?